Okay, welcome everyone. Um, today, this is going to be our last our last one on Shema. We're going to finish it. We just haven't got through all the words yet. Um, so we're going to be talking about uh, by Yomer, which is the last the last paragraph. Um, so we mentioned some of these ideas before, but um, it's always good to always good to review them. So start off with you know what's the reason why we're even saying this in the Shema? What does it have to do with the everything that we've spoken about before? So the Gemara actually answers for us and then maybe we'll we'll also speak out maybe like a more of a logic a logical answer as well but the gemara says gives five reasons why why we mention the parsha this is which is vayomer in shema and it says it contains because it contains five mitzvot in addition to the tzitzit number one is the tzitzit and trim. number two is the um the yoke of all mitzvot meaning by looking at the tzitzit we're supposed to remember all the shem's mitzvot um Idea that not to not to be influenced by non-believers, das mean him, um, avoiding immoral thoughts, hear her, avira, we're supposed to avoid that, that, and then finally also avoiding um, thoughts of of avoiding uh, worshiping other gods, so hear her, avoid Zara. So because of because of those five things, those five things that are mentioned in in this paragraph, that's the reason why we mention at the end of Shema, um, and you know just to put that. And then kind of more on like a logical, logical explanation as well is that, you know, when you think about everything that we've said in Shema up until now from, from accepting Hashem as, as, you know, as Echad, as one, and then for shame, you know, just saying that we're, we are, we are Bato, we are, we are part of the service of, of Kaddish Baruch, or, you know, the muscle that we're bowing down on the, on the floor on Yom Kippur. The hafta of, of loving Hashem, and then vehaya, which we did last week, which was about um, doing doing all the mitzvot, and what happens as you know what what happens when we do mitzvot, and what happens when we don't do mitzvot. So to to put that all together, then we find, then we finish with this last paragraph, which is you know I'm gonna actually Kadosh Baruch Hu tells us I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a I'm gonna give you a tool that you're gonna put right on you, you're gonna wear it every single day, um, and this way you're gonna be able to basically hold everything that we just discussed, you're gonna be able to hold it with you at all times. So, so you'll never have a you'll never have a moment where where you don't remember that. Even though we mentioned that from from the Sefer Achenach that we that we say Shema to sort of recharge our Emuna. So we're also so in addition to actually saying the Shema, we we keep the sittis on us at all times to um to you know as as that reminder as well to remember all the mitzvahs. So that's where that's where I think it, it comes in. Um, to the Shema, why, why, that, why is that the end? Really? Yeah. Do we not even know Hashem is also here at night? No. So when we say we say, oh, you mean why don't we wear tzitzis at night? Yeah. So I, I think that just comes like when you're when you're going to sleep. You know, you don't need to wear you don't need to wear uh you don't need to wear tzitzis because you know you're just going to sleep. You're not actively. You don't need to actively be thinking about um, God because you're you're dreaming. That's why you say Shema. You go you go into the night thinking it, and then you wake up and you put it back on. That's that's how that's what I think. Okay, so now now the words. Um, it's not as long as some of the other paragraphs, and then we'll also talk about you know practically how does this work? Practically how does it work when I put on tissues? I'm supposed to remember all the mitzvot, you know. All, all I see is that all I see is this this garment. Um, all I see is this garment, and so that that so how does that work? Um, also, Shia Abba Abba just sent me a message. He said, "Pasuk says, read them also when you need to see it, so you're not going to see it at night." They also didn't have lights as much, so it's uh you know wasn't as wasn't as practical to wear it at night for those reasons. Okay, good. Any other questions? Okay, good. So now, so we're gonna we're, let's do the the psukim inside from Vayomer, last last paragraph of Shema, very end. So it says Vayomer Hashem Moshe Lemor. This is in this is in in Parsha Shlaf. It's um it's from Midbar, chapter fifteen, Pasuk Lamed Zayin thirty seven. Vayomer Hashem Moshe Lemor. 
Hashem spoke to Moshe saying, Daber al Bnei Yisrael, Yamar Tali, Hem, speak to Bnei Yisrael, say to them, Yasu lahem, Tisit, you should make Tisit, Al Kamshavik de Hamadur Sam, on the corners of their garments, Badur Sam, through their generations, Binasnu, Al Tisit, Akanaf, Steel Tachela, and they and they should put on and there on on they should put on it they should put tzitzit hakanaf shel tchelas they should put this thread of of tchelas on each corner. So Rashi says we have two lahem They should put tzitzit. So Rashi is going to explain what it, why is it called tzitzit. So he says al shem hapsilim at tluyim bo kimo vayikacheni betzitzit roshi. He says that it's called tzitzis. Where does that word come from? Um, so it says, so he explains um, because of the threads that are suspended from it, as it says in, it says in, he took me by my hair, the fringes of my head. And that's where that word tzitzis comes from, the fact that they're they're hanging. Alternatively, says Rashi, another answer, davar acher tzitzis, al shem re'item oso, it's also called titis, which comes from from um, like the from, from the word kmometit mean haharakim, peering from the lattices, meaning see a little bit. So that's so that's so it either means hanging or see, and that's that's where that word is derived. Rashi just saying the word titis comes from, um, and then tchelas. Rashi explains what tchelas is. Seva yarok shachilazon. It's green blue dye obtained from a chilazon, which um. Which many people believe because is is this a uh, snail creature that they that they found recently, um, and also I saw I saw in a sitter that that says the dorosam like I'll tell you the sam that even if it's a dependent even if it's a generation that doesn't have the capabilities of of remembering Hashem, it says dorosam means means forever every every generation. Okay, so that's lamed ches says lamed pasuk lamed ches by yalochem let let it says. Should be for them as titis reisem also, and you shall see it. Uzchartem es komis vos Hashem. When you see it, you should remember all the mitzvot of Hashem. Vasisem osam. You should just remember them. You should do them. Belos dasuri afrei levachem yafrei nichem. Should wander after after your um, hearts and after your and after your eyes. Asheretem zomim afrei hem. After which you are going astray. Okay, so Rashi explains. With Khartem, it's called Mitzvot Hashem. You sh- and you're going to remember all the Mitzvot of Hashem. So this is, this is answer number one, right? How does Sitzvot help us remember? Answer number one, uh, it says, Rosh Hashem, Minyan, Gematria, Shal Sitzvot, Sheish Meil, Sheish Meil, that if you, the Gematria of the word Sitzvot, if you count, if you do the Gematria, it comes out to 600. Shmona Chutin, you have, you've got these eight strings, the Chamish Sharim, and you have five, Five knots, uh, hooray, tariyami. That comes out to 613. Okay, so that's answer number one. You know, if you see titus, what do you see? Oh, you think, okay, what's the gematria of this, this thing? Oh, 600, 8, 5, 613. Okay, I, I don't know how practical that one is. Um, but that's that's the first explanation that we got. That's how you're going to remember all the mitzvot. You're going to remember six, you're going to see the gematrias, and you're going to get to 613. We'll get to your other answers, don't worry. Below um, tatura, afray, the vachem. So and, and you're not gonna wander after your heart. So says Rashi, Kmomi Torah Ares, like it says Pasak in Bamibar from scouring the land. Halev the Hainaim Himiraglim Lagok. Rashi says, right, this is a this is just a idea for not only not only Tzitzis, but and not only Shema, but just a, just a good thing to know that the, the heart and the eyes, says Rashi, they're the Miraglim, the Miraglim are spies. For the body, they are the spies of the body. So says Rashi, they are the agents for sinning. The eyes and the hearts are the agents for sinning. The eye sees, the heart covets, and the body commits the transgression. So in order to prevent our eyes and our heart from, from you know, scouting out and being despised for our body, we we have this defense mechanism which is the tzitzit.
Okay, so it says in Pasuk Mem, Laman tiz giru vatitem is coming to the in order that you remember it and you do all the mitzvahs, for Yisem Kiddoshim lelo chem, so you should be holy to your God, Ani Hashem lelo ki chem, I am Hashem, your God, Asher Tisi, Eschem Yerek Yisraim, Yos Lachem, Leilo Kim, Ani Hashem lelo ki chem. It says, says the Pasuk that um, I am Hashem, your God, who took you out of the land of, of Egypt to be for you a God, I am Hashem, I am Hashem, your God. So it says, Rashi has a lot to say on this topic. So Rashi says, Ani Hashem. What does it mean, I am God? Neman is showing Zahar that I'm faithful to pay reward. Elokechem, Neman mi param. I'm faithful to exact punishment. Which means that, I'm telling you, right, this, this, connects, this connects exactly to, to the paragraph that, of, of the Hayah, that, um, right, just like, just like Hashem said there, if you keep my mitzvot, you're going to get a reward. If you don't keep my mitzvot, you're going to be punished. So, that's what, he, that's what Rashi's explaining. The last post like here, Ani Hashem, I'm Hashem, then I'm going to pay the reward, but if you don't, you're going to get punished. Asher Tesi Eschem, he took you out. So says Rashi, it's not that just, doesn't, this doesn't just mean that I happen to take you out. That's not what we're mentioning here. Says Rashi, Al Minas, that means on the condition, because I took you out, why? Came Padisi Eschem, she took a blue Aleichem to side. I redeemed you. I took you out of me, try him, not just for me to take you out, but on the condition that you're going to accept all my, all my decrees. That's why I took you out of me, try for you to be my nation, for you to keep my mitzvot. I didn't just, I didn't just take you out just because. That's what it means. Asher means not, Asher sure can sometimes mean that, but it's that, but Asher here means because. Asher is because I took you out. Of of Mitzrayim, Ani Hashem Elokeichem. So Rashi asks, why are we repeating in this pasuk Ani Hashem Elokeichem twice? Old Lama Neamar. Why did we have to say Hashem Elokeichem two times? It says Rashi, Kedesh Lo Yom Yisrael Mipnei Ma Amar Amakom. So that so that um we don't we don't say to him um that why did I, what what reason did Hashem say this that we get a word. Lo shena stav and so far, right? Why did Hashem tell us this? So that was not because Hashem said that if you perform these commandments, you're going to receive a reward. Anu lo simbolo not slim far akorcham ani, right? So we're so we're going to say to him, um, you know, Bnei Yisrael might say that might say, you know, God told us, okay, if you do the mitzvahs, you get a reward. Okay, that's very nice. Um, you know, I don't want I don't want this job. <laughs> I don't, I don't want this job. I don't want to have to do the mitzvahs. I don't, don't give me the reward. I'm fine. You know, I'll, I'll make it on my own. I don't need you. Right. So Rashi says, but no, you can't say that. The Pasuk t- takes care of that. It says, Ani Hashem Elokeichem twice. And what does that twice mean? Akorchem, Ani Melachem. On, on, I'm your king. God's saying, I'm your king, even against your will. And you have to do this. The Chayn Hulu Omer shows that in Yechez, Kel Im Lo Biyad Chazaka, Amochet Aleichem. Um, with the str- with strong hand, I'll reign over you. That's that's what he means over there. Davar um, Acher. Additionally, Lama Neamar Yisias Mitzrayim. Why why does it say Yisias Mitzrayim? Ani hu shehiv chanti the Mitzrayim bein tipa shabachor l'sheina shabachor. Just like I am in Mitzrayim in Egypt, that God was able to distinguish between one who was a bachor and one who was one who was not a bachor, meaning from from the ones who he killed the Makas the Horos. Um so said the Shem, just like I was able to distinguish between that, Ani who also lahav Krim the Iparab me not told I call it Elam Vigdo and Mart Khilati. I'm also able to tell if you're wearing just a random blue blue string on or if you're actually wearing the correct khila. You have to do it right. Misoto Shall Rabbi Marsha Darshan Akta Rashi says furthermore, says I I found also from from Rabbi Musha Darshan Lamanis Okay, let's skip, skip this part because he's he's talking about um the next the next section. Okay, and then so then Rashi keeps going. He says he's going to give us another. You're right. So far we have only one way that we know how wearing kitzis helps us remember all the mitzvot. So Rashi going to give us another. Al kamtevig dechem. So what does it mean? Al kamtevig dechem. Kineged said Rashi by says chama kamtevig shorim. It corresponds to the verse that. That um, it said in connection with the Mitzrayim that Pasuk says, 
I carried you on Kanfe Nisharim, on the wings of eagles. Um, I, so, so what is that? What is that talking about? So says Rashi, Al Arba Kanfos, Velo Velas Shalosh, Velo Velas Hamish, that on the four corners, but not on a garment of three or five corners. So Rashi is saying that, that that corresponds to the four four types of um, the four the four um, expressions of Geula of redemption that we say on that we say in regards to Yitzhak Eternal. We say on Pesach we're gonna you know now we're getting into the 30 days before Pesach that um, we we're supposed to we're supposed to start learning about the Elchos Pesach 30 days before Pesach. And I actually heard idea that that um you know what was the reason that that Haman chose Haman chose the thirteenth day of Adar? You know a lot of people they talk about okay how come how come uh, Haman chose Adar? You know about a month why did he choose others? Okay so people talk about that one but not not so many people ask the question you know how come he chose the thirteenth day? What was up with the thirteenth day of others? So I heard idea that that. In, um, when Bnei Shor were, were redeemed from Mitzrayim, right before they were redeemed, they were on the lowest level of Tumah. They were on the 49th level of Tumah. And so, and so the, in order to get redeemed, they, they had to start doing, they had to start doing Shuva. So, uh, so, so right before, but right before they started doing Shuva, they, they run the, really their lowest level. And so when, so, so, when did they start doing Shuva? So it wasn't just Pesach, because there's the idea that 30 days before Pesach, you have to start learning about all, all the halachos. So they started doing their Shuva 30 days before, which comes out on the 14th of Adar. So every single year, right, when we, we have our own, we have our own ECS Mitzrayim, so our lowest level of Toma comes out on what date? The 13th day of Adar. And Hama knew, knew this, so he said, I'm going to make prayer and fall on the 13th day. Of other. Okay, that's just that's just besides the point. But anyways, Rashi's Rashi's answer. Back to what we we're talking about. Rashi's Rashi's answer is that you're you're wearing a four corner garment. When you wear four corner garment, you're supposed to remember the the um the UTS Mitzrayim because you're going to see the four different the four different uh you can remember the four different expressions of of Geula, four different expressions of redemption, and you're going to also remember that that it's going to help you remember the pasuk. That it's uh, re- relates to the word al kamtei and that Hashem carried us out in, uh, on the wings of eagles, which relates to the word corner, which is kanfos, also in Hebrew. And then finally, the last Rashi, um, the last Rashi says tiel So why? What's what's this tiel What does that mean? So he says al shem shiko bechoros tar gumush al shiko techla. So, so he says that when you hear the word techeles, that the word techeles in Aramaic, the word techla, which is similar to techeles, means bereavement, which like the 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 suffer the suffer, the fact that the, the Egyptians suffered over their loss of their firstborn. So when you hear techeles, when you even hear the word, you're gonna think of the fact that the Mitraim suffered by the loss of the, of of their firstborn. And more than that. Right. Addition to that, says Rashi, says when was when was there um when did this maka happen? Maka the horse. When did it happen? Says Rashi, Makasim heist of Lila. This this plague happened at night. That that the color of tchelas is similar to the color of the sky, which blackens at at dusk, and so that's also going to help you remember. That's also going to help you remember you see, I think so you're going to see the blue and you're going to say, oh, this is this is the blue that that the, the sky that that it turns at dusk, and you're going to remember the Makos the Um And also, says Rashi, another way it's going to help you remember is Shmona Chutin Shabak Neged Shmona Yamim Shishal Yisrael Misha Yatim Mitzrayim Acham Rishira Alayam. They said, what is about the eight strings? I'll tell you. I'll tell you how they connect as well. The eight strings connect to the to the eight eight days that. Bnei Yisrael waited from when they left Mitzrayim until finally the the Mitzrayim drowned at the Yamsu. So, so Rashi. So we've only gone through Rashi so far. We're going to just talk about a few other ones um, very briefly. But in Rashi, he explains to us. He's, he got he's he's given us a, n- a number of tools to help us remember the fact that it's supposed to be all the mitzvahs. Number one, 
So you have the gematria, right? You, you, you see the tittis, you think about the gematria, and you realize 613. Okay, nice. Then you also have the fact that it's a four corner garment. So, four corner garment, you're going to think about the word in Hebrew for corner, which means, which is composed, which is similar to kanaf, like the wings of an eagle. And also, the four corners is relates to the to the four different lishonas of Geula, the four different types of Geula that we talk about on Pesach. And then also, there's the blue is supposed to help you remember the the mak the makas Bahoros because that that was the color of the sky at the time and then also the eight strings you're going to remember the eight days that Bnei Israel uh took from when they left from when they left the tribe to when to when the Mitzrayim finally drowned at the Yamsa so that's that's all according to Rashi that was Rashi's explanation so then the Ramban I think has a more famous explanation I think it's Typically, what we think of when you say, "Okay, how does how does um, how does the how does the trailers help you remember? How does stitches help you remember the the um, all, to do all the mitzvahs?" So the Ramban says the trailers helps you remember because when you look at the trailers, you're gonna you're gonna see it's a color which is similar to the sky. I'm sorry, similar to the sea, which is similar to the sky, which is gonna help you, um, which is gonna remind you of the kisei hakavod, the the hakadosh baruch see up it up in heaven and you can remember all the mitzvot. So that's I think that's a more common explanation to most people to most people um go with when they think about it. Um and but then finally I think this is, this is my favorite ex explanation is explanation of the, the Orchaim Kadosh. He explains that when when you put on the titis, so similar to how um you had if you had an Eved in the olden times when people had when people had slaves, they used to brand their slaves. They used to make put a marking on their slaves so that they would know it's a slave. Uh sorry, it's a save, a slave, a slave. Um so so in similar sense, when you put on titis, you put on titis, it's sort of our marking of 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 this of, of servitude that we put it on, you know, we're recognizing we have a master and as being that we have a master, we have obligations that are involved with that. And one of those obligations that we have as a servant is to the mitzvot. We have to keep all the mitzvot. And so when we put it on and we see the strings, that's all supposed to remind us, you know, that that we're, you know, we we we're, we're an evid to Hashem, we're a servant to Hashem, and we have to do the obligations that come with that, which is which is to keep the mitzvot. Okay, that's that's all.